Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. In today's video we are going to be talking all about the Foreo UFO. We're going to talk about the science behind this little device and it turns out there's quite a lot of science behind this thing. I'm going to share with you how to use it as well as how I have been using it which is a little different. And finally, we're going to break down, is it worth it? Now that's a very complicated question. We're talking about a device that retails for $199. And full disclosure, Foreo was kind enough to gift me this one. So I feel like ultimately, I can't really sit here and tell you whether it is worth it for you. That is something that you have to decide, but we can do a lot of mathematical breakdowns and help you determine if it's worth it compared to what you might be doing. Let's start this video off with a quick conversation about what the heck is this little device anyway. So the main purpose of the Foreo UFO is to give you the same benefits of a 20 minute standard sheet mask in a total of 90 seconds. The sheet masks you use with the Vreo are smaller. You attach them here and then you just massage this on your skin for a total of 90 seconds. While this cycles through red, green, and blue LEDs, heat, cold, and T-sonic pulsations. And that is indeed a lot more than a sheet mask, but what does all of that do, right? So the features that they claim are the thermal therapy, the heat, opens pores, infuses mask ingredients, cryotherapy, the cold, firms, reduces appearance of pores and inflammation, red light therapy, erases signs of aging and stimulates collagen, green light therapy, brightens an even skin tone, blue light therapy, kills acne causing bacteria and stimulates blood circulation, and then finally T-sonic pulsations, massage that enhances absorption of the product or the absorption of your sheet mask. Regarding the science, as you guys know by now, I am a skeptic by nature. However, I am certainly not opposed to pulling up studies on each of the supposed claims. And I did that a lot. It was in particular the LEDs that, you know, I've heard about LED light therapy. I've heard about it specifically for acne. I've heard about it for aging, but in my head, it's always been but LEDs are kind of everywhere. I have them in my house. I have them in all kinds of devices. What makes LEDs on my skin help me to fight my acne? But again, we're talking about a surprising amount of research on this topic. And in particular, I will link to you this paper in the description box below. I highly recommend it. It is very, very concise. It's a meta-analysis of multiple studies conducted by a dermatologist who then used LED light therapy in his own clinic. And what they ultimately report in this study is that blue light penetrates into the epidermis and may be extremely beneficial for acne-prone skin in that it may actually help to kill the P. acne's bacteria bacteria. Red light may be excellent for anti-aging purposes. That one actually penetrates into the skin even deeper. And I had to go beyond that paper to find information on green light therapy, but it turns out that green LED could be excellent for fighting the signs of inflammation. You know, as somebody who deals with acne, I am really used to, you know, getting excited about a potential treatment for my acne, but then there's always this part of me that says, okay, but tell me a little bit about the cons. And that's one of the best aspects of this LED. LED light therapy is that the cons are extremely, extremely minimal. It seems to me from the study that I linked to you guys, the, the biggest con is that some people didn't feel that it was doing necessarily enough and there were some people who reported a little bit of dryness, but are you kidding me? That compared to some of the potential negative outcomes from other acne treatments, I got myself real excited. Something that kept coming up over and over in these research papers is that LED therapy is best used in conjunction with other treatments. And again, I think that's really what makes Foreo's UFO so special. You know, it's not just an LED device. It's got these other benefits, plus you're combining it with whatever benefits are in the sheet mask that you are using. And just so you guys know, I have been reading these papers for about two to three weeks now, the same amount of time I've had this Foreo, and I certainly could have gone even deeper in terms of the T-sonic pulsations and the heat and the cold therapies, but it was specifically the LED therapy that appealed the most to me and what I've ended up concentrating on. Let's talk a little more about the use of this product because I, I have to admit to you that even when Foreo reached out to me and asked if they could send this, the first thing that came into my head was it sounds like an interesting device that I would love to try, 
but then I have to buy a whole bunch of masks. I'll have to keep buying products to keep using this. And it does cost $10 for seven of their more basic sheet masks or 20 for their more advanced, which compared to the price of most of my favorite sheet masks is still better. Most of my favorite sheet masks are about $6 each, but another potential con, most of their sheet masks do contain fragrance. However, a very long time ago at this point, I talked about using these on my channel. So these are just sheet masks that have absolutely nothing in them, just completely dry sheet masks. And I got to thinking about it and I was like, well, this device is small. Those little sheet masks are very tiny. I feel like I could probably soak one of these in my own serums or toners and cut out sheet masks from these. Not only does that save me a ton of money as I pay roughly four cents, four cents for each of these, but then I have the freedom to use whatever ingredients along with the Foreo that I want. I can enhance the Foreo's effects for my specific needs. I could go with an anti-acne toner, make sheet masks that are fragrance free from that and still get the benefits of everything going on with the UFO. And not only that, but I can stick with the trials that I'm presently doing. Right now I'm doing Rosen skincare. Oh my goodness, I hope you guys stay for that. It's gonna be such a great video. Not only have I been making my own sheet masks, but I've also been using the Foreo UFO app exactly as I desire to use it for my specific skin concerns. So at this point in the video, I wanna break from you just looking at my face here and take you through the process that I've been doing with this UFO. I wanna show you how I've been making these masks and then show you how I've been using the device. I'm starting off with these individually wrapped sheet masks that I get off AliExpress for $4.40 for 100. Adding my toner, which will make the sheet mask puff up and turn into a regular sheet mask. I use about probably a tablespoon of toner for each sheet mask. Unwrapping my sheet mask, you can see it's a full sheet mask. Sanitizing my scissors with 75% ethanol and then tracing out my outline. Something other than paper would probably work better, but this works for the time being. Uh, yeah, you see it gets a little, a little soggy, uh, but I'm able to cut out three UFO sized masks from each sheet mask and then I can just keep the rest of them, store them in a Ziploc bag inside of my refrigerator for the next use. So I wanted to show you guys exactly how I use the app. We're gonna do this in the same style. My mom sends me screenshots. Love you, mom. All right, so I've got the Foreo app loaded and I'm going to be selecting the UFO option. I'm gonna hold down the button so it can pair up. So the app comes preloaded with settings for the Make My Day and Call It A Night sheet masks that Foreo sells, but of course I have my own, so I'm hitting the gear here. This is really important to see that little tiny gear. That takes you into a menu where you have full control over the UFO. Of course, this is perfect for me with my temperamental skin. So I'm turning down red and green, and I'm just gonna let the blue light go first, which is the anti-acne treatment. I'm gonna put my DIY sheet mask on first. Apologies for the fact that it is not cut perfectly. I do have the cutting skills of a kindergartner. Okay, so now I'm turning up the T-Sonic pulsations, and I'm gonna set this to heat. I'm gonna let that run for 30 seconds on my face, and then I'm gonna turn off blue and turn on red, which is the anti-aging setting. Switch the temperature to cool, which puts out so much cool that I could feel it on my hands. Turning off red and turning up green, which is the anti-inflammatory setting. I feel like this is a good way to end. Turn off the uh, heat and cool as well, and just finish out 30 more seconds to finish a 90 second routine. And then of course, how I use it. I massage small circles on each cheek and then on my forehead for 10 seconds each through each 30 second cycle. So the point of this video is, is this device worth it? And again, again, I think this is a very complicated question. The first place that I would start with answering this question, or at least helping you to answer this question for yourself, is to ask you, how much do you really enjoy skincare? Because, you know, on one side of the coin, you have people who truly love their skincare. Not even going to lie to you guys, I love to do a 20-minute sheet mask. I love it. I set that time aside, put my mask on, 
load up some nature documentaries, watch some sloths for 20 minutes, I am in heaven. But I do acknowledge that for some people, that same level of enjoyment isn't there. For some people, skincare is a chore. Can you guys even believe it? Because I, I personally can't, but I, I respect it, I get it. So it's still difficult to answer because you do have a device that could have all these potential added benefits and save you 18 and a half minutes. The second question is one that kind of reminds me a lot of questions I ask people in terms of skincare supplements, and that is, you know, how much are you willing to go above and beyond just basic skincare? You know, basic skincare is certainly enough for a lot of people, and yet there are other people who are looking for more from their skincare. Again, I tend to be a more seeker from my skincare because I do have a difficult skin type. I have dry skin and I have acne. It's a difficult skin type. And number three, are you okay with the ongoing costs? Now, I feel like for most people who enjoy sheet masks, you're probably already used to that since, like I said earlier, it is about $6 for a sheet mask. $6 for pharmacy, Dr. Jart, Saturday Skin, etc. But do keep in mind, you are saving money on the Foreo sheet masks compared to the price of a $6 sheet mask, since each one of these at seven masks for $10 breaks down to a total of $1.42 per mask, which is $4.58 less every time you use this than those $6 masks. But of course, also, as you saw throughout this video, the sheet masks that I am making cost me less money since it is four cents for each of those plain sheet masks and then the cost of the toner or serum. Now, the toner that I was using is $12 for four ounces. I use about a tablespoon each time to make those masks. And so my ultimate cost breaks down to 51 cents not too shabby. That is all I have for today's video. Please do feel free to share with me your thoughts in the comment section below. I know a lot of you guys own the UFO because you guys were the ones telling me about this a while ago. So share with me your thoughts. How has your experience been? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.